Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're with us on this Friday morning. We have a very special guest here in the studio, but first, let's take a look at our weather. Brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Group Pollard, and his hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs. It'll be pretty comfortable today. High 73, low 51, water temperature at the end of the pier, right at 67 degrees. It's going to be a good weekend to be outdoors. Take a look at our river reading, readings brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola, good folks down there. The Apparatchee Cola at Blunstown is reading a 15.6. It's dropping a little bit, but it's still high for the weekend. The Choctahatchee at Careville reading a 7.5. Pretty steady, so it's going, it should be, that river should be in good shape for some good fishing. The tide chart brought to us by Kenton Forest Lawn. Decent tides today, real good tides tomorrow. The high tide is right at lunch around 12.21. And then it's going to be low going out about 1128. The wind will be coming north northeast at about eight, about nine today, eight to nine. Let's go ahead and do our fishing game time. Brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. We're looking at 238 to 438 this morning, but this afternoon when the tide starts moving, 302 to 502. We're going to come right back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back in this bright ray of sunshine. One of my former students, we're always talking about the sponsors and all on the show. Here's Jessica Malden Lean. Hi. Tell us about yourself, Jessica. Well, I'm an Allstate agent here in Panama City, well, in Lynn Haven in Panama City Beach. And um, I have a large staff. We actually were, I don't know if you know this, Coach Chester, but last year in 2023, we were number one Allstate agent in the state of Florida. We're going to talk about that. That is, that's awesome. Okay. A little Lynn Haven now. Little. <laughs> Former outdoor ed. What was your favorite class in high school? Of course, outdoor ed. Okay, so yep. we gotta get established that from the beginning. And she was a, she was good. And uh, and what's great, I'm gonna show you some pictures later how she and her husband have just continued the outdoor lifestyle. But what's fascinating to me is how you got into this business. Tell us about it quickly how you got into the business. So um, after high school, I went to Gulf Coast, and then I continued on into um, the workforce. Um, and I actually got into insurance. And when I, I had a few other career choices I thought and when I walked into the door like walked into the agency I immediately knew that was what I was supposed to be doing my whole life that just hit you did it it, yeah, it did it, just, done, it was all over me you were telling me you're doing different things and all that then boom this is it that was it and then and um and I just knew that I wanted to be able to do it one day under my direction and mm -hmm. I worked really hard and I became their office manager and then I ended up taking over and acquiring the agency um, and when I did, it tell was us a date when you acquired the agency. September first of twenty eighteen. So we all know, one month later was Hurricane Michael. So what a way to get an insurance business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a time. It was. It was. But yeah. I was also, I think, timing is everything. And I was, I really, truly felt I was. It was blessed for me to be able to handle all of that under, yeah. you know, under my direction and be able to be there for my customers and yeah. show them what I really, what I always told them I would do. I was able to do. I said, that was a great, I mean, you jumped into the fire right away. Yeah. You didn't have time to, <laughs> didn't have time to practice. That, that was cool. And then uh, you have an agency at the beach also? I do, in Panama City Beach. Um, it's right by Caravas. Okay. So okay. I have a large staff, um, We'd be able, so we're able to assist, you know. Well, how, how, how large is your staff? We have 14 people now. Wow. Yes. And growing, we're always, you know, we're always trying to grow because we want to yeah. be able to assist our clients as quickly and promptly as we can. And let's do a disclosure now. You're really good friends with Ariel. I am. <laughs> yes, Ariel Payton. Okay, you remember Ariel coming on the show. Now, you know her personality. I know y'all, we've talked about her before now. Imagine the two of them in a car together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, it's very loud and a lot of this and a lot of giggling. <laughs> I, really, we plan on Ariel to, Ariel to come. She had a previous engagement. So next time, we're going to try to get both of them on the show at the same time. And I'm just going to ease off to the side and let them, <laughs> let them go. But uh, it's just a delight to, you know, to stay in touch with your former students, but especially when they, you know, they're willing to come on and uh, help sponsor the show and they come on the show and uh, doing good things. And it's just, it's a thrill to me, really. So we, uh, have, how many kids you have now? I have three, three children. I have a, my oldest son is 13. I have a middle son who is seven. And then we have our baby girl who is two. Her <laughs> name is Tinsley. Awesome. She, she's and, a lot like her mama. 
<laughs> okay, well, that, that's good. That's good. We, it's exhausting, uh, also. <laughs> we were talking about the, uh, before we came on air, about your, what do you remember about the outdoor ed class back then? Well, what? <laughs> so, my two favorite things and what I remember were, was learning to do a cast net, how to throw a cast net, and then also tying knots. Tying knots, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yes, because I was very determined I was going to get it. <laughs> and, and I did, but now don't ask me to do it right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but it was life skills. We won't, we won't put you on the spot. But, and, and by then, you know, we were, well, well, I was actually teaching, and now, and now we have apps on the phone. I mean, so many apps and all these oh, wow. So if I was teaching now, I would say, go well, to the apps. Well, now you aged me a little bit, and I feel old, but no, that's okay. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, it's going to move rapidly. We have so many pictures. We're going to try to get started on a couple of them, and uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to start with this one right here. Tell us about this picture right here. So this picture is my husband. We actually went last year for an insurance conference in Key West. And Ooh. we had to sneak off and um, do a little uh, tarpon fishing, I believe. Oh, this is, this is cool. This is how you do a business trip. Yeah, I thought so too. We were like, um, maybe we'll just sneak off and not do the other thing and do this thing. I love um, it. And we were underneath that very long bridge, mm -hmm. and um, the, the, the current was like really, really fast. So, yeah. to be honest, I was also fishing, but then my hand got tired. <laughs> it was a lot <laughs> of this and this and this, and it was a lot. That's um, cool. So then I was like, I'm going to take pictures. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And now, where are you here? So we actually are part of the Moody's Farm, the old Moody's Farm. Yeah. Our, that's our hunt and lease. And this is literally the one time I went hunting last year, and I had to document it. So you know, um, <laughs> Who that selfie. Yes, yeah. that's right. So you were staying with your husband, or it was me. Yes, me yeah. and my husband. And um, actually, right after that picture, I turned when I <laughs> stopped looking at my phone. I looked and I saw there were four deer. And um, I was like, give me the gun, give me the gun, because I was going to, I wanted to shoot. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> by that time, he had handed it to me, and I got in position, and he's trying to tell me how to, what to do, and all the things. Yeah. Um, he's not the quiet, most quiet person, so they. They spooked him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's funny. That's funny. And uh, this is a deer that, that you got recently. Or that one year? was my son's, actually. Okay. All right. And my 13-year-old. And, oh, there, and yeah. there's Maddox right there. He looks like you. I know. Uh, Thank he, you. See, he, it's documented. He really, yeah, he really <laughs> does. All right, a fishing trip here. This was this was my husband's birthday last year, and um, we went to Apalachicola. Scipio Creek Marina. Yes. yes um, and we love Apalachicola, and we went on the a group of people went on the family tradition boat. I don't yes, know I've been on that one. Yes, oh, yeah, the Raffles. Yes, the Raffles. Yeah. It was great, and they had a great time. I did not go on the boat um, because I had to be with our daughter, but um, they had such a great time. And the boys love fishing with their fathers. So. Well, what a great uh, birthday present. It was, it was. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> Our wives, y'all see that now. A good, good present to, uh, to get. We're going to take a quick break and come right back with Jessica. Okay, welcome back with Jessica Malden Ling. I don't, do you use Malden much anymore? Just, just, no, <laughs> but I am proud of my family name, you know. So. I know, and that's how I remember her. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, we, uh, we're talking about small businesses and yes. your small business and how the importance of small business. And our community is good about supporting small business. 100%. Um, I was actually kind of discussing with you that um, I do a lot of mentoring with all state agents um, in coaching. And last year, since we were, you know, spotlighted as the number one um, agency for best in company, they always want to know what it is that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's not actually me and what I'm doing. I'm blessed to be in a community that supports me, uh -huh. right? You know, I'm um, supporting small business is so yeah. important, but yeah. I also have an amazing team. Yeah. Um, but it's my community that you guys trust me and believe in me and support me. And so I pour back in. That's exactly right. And you were talking about every morning before you all get together as a group. And like yes. a How, what are y'all doing first thing? So um, usually after I've had my cup of coffee, I feel <laughs> super motivated. Yeah. And I have a text group with my office. Um, it's called the Dream Team. And we just start sharing like motivational posts mm -hmm. or quotes and we get our day started by just making sure your mindset's right and positivity and positivity you know you, you never know what somebody else is going through yeah. so we always want to be there for each other and um, and kind of help to make yeah. sure that you know they feel seen and heard yeah. and and just have the right mindset for the day. I'm going to swing by the office one morning and just join y'all. Yes. Get a cup of coffee. And, uh, I would love and, uh, that. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay, well, some more pictures. Check out check out the three kids right here on the beach. Tell us about it. <laughs> That's my babies. So we always go to Mexico Beach. We love Mexico Beach. Yes. Um, 
And this was just a picture. We were about to walk down to the beach, and I was like, turn around, let me take a picture. <laughs> and so they, Tinsley, of course, has got her hands in the air and just <laughs> I love full it. of personality. And so my boys are just so handsome. And you're fishing down there. Yes. So um, Michael will set the poles and put the rods in the water, you know, the lines in the water. And this is, I don't even know oh, what that, that is. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is cool. They caught, but they thought it was great. And the water, like a beautiful water. It is. And he's got it. He's got a fish on. He does. It yeah. Looks like a little. What is that? A little shark? Looks like. Yeah. Hey. And he, they ended up tossing it back, but uh -huh. it's just exciting. Um, well, they're making some great memories as a kid. Yeah. Okay. Now where are they? So this was actually my son's um, one of one of his birthdays. Uh, actually, it was in 2021 because um, I was pregnant with Tinsley at the time, so yeah. I didn't get to go to this one either. <laughs> um, but this was on The Great Escape with Stuart Miller. Do you yeah, remember Stuart? I, yeah. I do, I know. Yes. Stuart, what a great boat, too. Oh, I know, and I'm such great friends with his family, and it was a great boat. The kids yeah. had such a great time. Um, a bunch of uh, our friends and everybody got together for, um, actually, it was Grayton's birthday, but they had oh. such a such a great time. Good folks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, again, is at Mexico Beach. Um, and that, yeah, that's a little, what is that, a short... Uh, uh, sandbar shark. Exactly. Listen yeah. to you. You must have had out the way or something. <laughs> and also the spikes back there where we put it in the sand. Those those are good. I like those. I've got a PVC. I might get some of those. Yeah. Good job. Okay. And here I he made is. those. No. no. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about some of your outdoor air stuff. Uh, oh, look so at this, this is one. Grayton. Oh. Um, and this was on The Great Escape. And that's Brinley. That's my niece. And okay. they are best friends. Um, oh, how and cool. so in that picture, just beautiful. That's precious. That is. Oh, uh, here's the crew. That's the crew. Okay. So my brother, Rick Malden, in the green shirt, and yep. then our really good friend, F.J. Farrell. Do you know Forrest Farrell? Do you remember Forrest Farrell? And, um, and then his boys, and then my husband, and our boys, and my nieces. So y'all yeah, made a good trip then. Yes, it was a wonderful, I mean, I wasn't there, but I heard it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that I was pregnant good, in the bed. That made a good trip. <laughs> Okay. And, and that's Grayton, again, on the boat. Okay. Um, he enjoyed it so much. He loves all that. Oh, cool. Nice grouper. So, okay. I'm glad you knew what kind of fish it was. I was like, here we go. <laughs> it's a grouper. Okay. That's My good husband was very proud of this and wanted to make sure. Well, that's the one you want to be proud of. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's true. And a good catch. Yes. All right. So there's just some more fishing trips. Oh, that's great. Y'all get to do that. Now, this is special. This is very special and near and dear to my okay, heart. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. So, last... Yeah, Tallahassee, FSU. Yes, I was asked as an Allstate agent to present the Allstate check on field. Allstate actually donates um, to, to the college games $1,000 to a student if they can make a field goal kick. Yeah. So, I was asked, they were like, well, do you want to represent Allstate and present the check? I was like, well, yes. And so I just couldn't believe it, and I... Well, I, I mean, was watching the game, and they, they called out your name. I said, what? <laughs> what is she doing there? All right, so here we go. Okay, so here, here it is right here. Yes, Look at and this. I was living my best life. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at there. <laughs> it was amazing, and of course, he made it. So I thank, know, I know. So. And um, it was amazing. I honestly, before we went out on the field, I was a little bit nervous, and I don't know why. I wasn't the one that was going to have to kick the ball. I was just handing the check, but I just I just looked at her, Jessica. It was amazing. Yes, it was absolutely amazing. I had so many text messages from like oh, customers and yeah. friends, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, we just saw you on the field!" And it, it was the FSU Miami game. Yeah, it was yeah. a big one. It was a good game. Yeah, it was a good and, game. and listen, I, I I was watching and uh, I I didn't know if we were gonna make it, and then he made it. <laughs> and everybody jumping up and down. I know. Uh, I, I, knew, I, I saw the big old smile. I could see it. Yeah, <laughs> and if anybody missed. It. I actually have it on my business Jessica Ling Allstate Lynn Haven page. I have a reel because Ariel was there getting all the footage. She was yeah. right there on field with me, and uh, um, she made sure to so we could capture that moment. It was very special. I don't know Ariel was there, so that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was. Of what, course. Was, uh, the uh, how did you get to be number one? What, what's your what, what do you think? So it's um it's the best in company, and they just have a few metrics of um, customer satisfaction and growth uh -huh. and. Um, you know, again, I, how we were able to obtain that was I have an amazing team who works very hard, mm -hmm. and um, we we really do have great, amazing customer service. Yeah. And um, you know, I have again a community that supports me fiercely, yeah. and I'm so blessed, and I'm and I'm thankful for everybody. Well, you present the whole package. I mean, here we are. You you, you love your company, you love your job, you love your family, and then y'all all coming together, and yeah. it's, it's a good formula. Yeah. So. Uh, 
was a young man that did the kick, and uh, uh, he was, where was he? Did you get to talk to him much? I don't. I actually tried to find him. Yeah. Um, I always say to be a good insurance agent, you have to be a good stalker. So I'm trying to find <laughs> him on like Facebook and Instagram, and I can't. And I'm like, maybe he's just young, and there's a whole other social media platform that I'm not aware of. That's fun. <laughs> Okay, we've got a couple minutes left in this segment. Let's, let's talk uh, briefly, uh, uh, the summer's coming up. You know, spring is here, summer's coming up. Y'all having any outdoor plans for your summer, for any kind of things, what are your vacations? Well, and um, usually we, we love the beach and we love going to Mexico Beach and just doing some fishing. We do plan to be on our boat a little bit more this year. Yeah. And we love Shell Island, going out to Shell Island and doing some fishing. And Tinsley's older now, she's two, so yeah. she can withstand yeah. that a little bit longer. Well, next time you have to bring Mike to come on the show, too. Absolutely. He's a, he's he would a, love that. And your brother? Yes. Uh, yeah, that, yes, my brother. They're yeah. all big fans. They're so excited that we that yeah. I'm here today. Yeah. So, yes, I would love to bring him. Well, you guys come on next time now, okay? We bring, you, got, you got pictures of bigger fish, though. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so come on. Um, they said challenge accepted, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I know. Uh, uh, company goals. What's your company goals? What, what? So, the goals for me, basically, is to con obviously continue to expand. Mm -hmm. um, Truly, I just want to always, I want to be able to reach many people just to make a difference in their life. I always say that insurance is just our tool. It's, I mean, I'm passionate about insurance and making sure people are properly protected and that they're educated on what they're paying for. But it, the heart of where we really are is I just want to make a difference in people's lives, my employees, my community, and my customers. And I, I think you're doing that from what I hear. I mean, Thank really. You. Uh, I get uh, Ariel keeps me informed on what's going on, and I, I see the things you post, and it's all really good stuff. Thank you. Now, we're going to get ready for our famous Friday fishing forecast. We're going to do it different this time because Jessica's here, so we're going to do it from the desk, and uh, we're going to do our drawing for the free seafood. So we'll take a final break, and we'll come right back. Okay, welcome back, and welcome to a famous Friday fishing forecast. I'm going to let uh, Jessica's going to be here on here with us, and we're going to, first thing, we're going to, of course, we're going to just draw names, and uh, so I'm going to let you draw. Okay. This first first drawing will be the winner, twenty-five dollars gift, gift certificate to Tarpon Dock. So you draw oh, wow. a name there. Okay. okay. And tell us who I'm you not get. looking. You're not looking. Okay. All right. Who do you have there? Daryl Weeks in uh, Greenhead. From Greenhead, Daryl Weeks. Okay. All right, and the. Big red snapper from Tropical Dock Seafood. All right. And who will that be? David Vest from Parker. From Parker, David Vest. All right. So uh, y'all go pick those up, run by, and uh, see if Clay is there. Uh, or he'll, he watches the show every morning, so he'll be watching, and uh, he'll he'll have your name. I've had some people ask me about some caps and all. I'm gonna order some more caps. Ooh, nice. And uh, we. Uh, we we have them. Uh, we just we just keep running out of stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I do understand that. Every time I turn around, I'm having to order more marketing stuff. <laughs> I know, you understand that. All right, our famous Friday fishing forecast is brought to us by Jessica Ling Allstate oh. and Matt Andrews with Hammer Down Roofing. Very good. I know. I stole it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you no, know, that's great. That's great. And we know we're, all week long we watch the fishing reports and and we look at things up and then we bring them to you on Friday morning. So it's really up to date and fresh. And I spend you know the night before I sort of put it all together and I sort of jot down some notes. But uh, and we okay. usually have Google Earth up here, but we're just going to talk about it. Okay. One of the things uh, is pier fishing is really good, and we're taking next Wednesday we will be taking the outdoor education class pier fishing. Oh, wow. uh, again, and it'll be at the Panama City Beach Pier, so it'll be out wow. in the neighborhood. But the pier report, they're catching some Spanish. They're really catching Spanish is real good. Wow. And also catching pompano there. So what we'll do, we'll fish on that trip. We'll fish a couple of hours, and then we'll go uh, have, have lunch at, uh, at Schooners. Well, we never got to do that fun stuff. Well, That's we did. Amazing. I think you skipped class right <laughs> now. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, really, I think I, we okay. might not have done it that year. But anyway, That's what funny. we'll do, I think we'll get alumni, have alumni peer fishing. Yes! We'll get all of y'all to come out there. That would be a hoot. Yes. Uh, also, I, I wrote down uh, Chocolate Bay. There's Spanish over there. They're not in Cinco Bayou like they normally be, but they're catching them off the pier in Chocolate Bay, wow. uh, San Andrew Bay. We, we talked about it last week. Same spots uh, out there. You know, I ran out in front of Beach Drive, made a big circle. Oh, wow. And all the way up there to the jetties, and then St. Joe Bay, uh, the redfish have been good this week. Apalachicola mm -hmm. Bay, uh, it's going to have a lot. You know, it's been raining so much. All that Apalachicola River uh, rainwater mm -hmm. is yes. really muddy. So move around and look for clear pockets in there, and then we get clear pockets. They should be holding trout and redfish. And then surf fishing, like you love to surf fish. Mm -hmm. This coming weekend, 
tomorrow and uh, next week should be really good surf fishing. So if your little boy wants to skip school and go surf fishing, don't let him do it, but let him dream, <laughs> let him dream about it. <laughs> don't let him do it. But surf fishing is going to be good. I really see uh, some pompano catches coming in next week. We're in April now. Next yeah. week is April, and April is, is pompano month. And, uh, and May, you know, freshwater, we talked about the bass fishing last week. Bass fishing is going to be off the, off the chart this week, really good. Also, the brim fishing with crickets. Uh, in the in the sandhill mm -hmm. ponds, cricket's going to be good, and also some fly fishing. Remember us doing some fly fishing yes, in I class. Yes, I do remember that. People still enjoy that. I have some people send me some pictures every now and then, and something they catch on a fly. That's great. Yeah, it, That's it's really cool. cool. Yeah. So uh, then I have that. Uh, the okay, that pretty well covers it. The moon. Keep up with the moon. Now we just had a full moon on Monday night, so it's going to be it's mm -hmm. waning, and that moon is so important to it. So. Uh, any questions on any kind of fishing for the weekend for next week? Or you, you, I, I don't have any questions. I just have a question of when you'll go fishing with us and, uh, and show us all those good spots. That would be that would be enjoyable. Uh, when, I would love to go fishing. <laughs> I would love to go fishing soon. My plate has been pretty full. Uh, I and, but April and May, we're talking about it all the time, about April and May, seriously, are two of the best months of the year. If I could only fish one month a year, I'd fish May. Wow. And the second month would be October. And third month would be April, and then fresh water and salt water because you know you have the water temperature moving around, and you have the migration. That's it, on, on the surf. That's what it, right now the pompano are migrating up here, hmm. and they're moving really strong. And they'll, they'll go up here into Pensacola, Mobile, but they're coming by in really strong, and I, I expect the next couple of weeks to be excellent. I, I see some limits, and I'm going to try to sneak off and uh, do some surf fishing, but uh, as you should. I, I don't know if I need to get permission right from. from from all the folks I'm responsible for, but you know how that goes. And it's hard for you to miss work, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm always working. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am, even at night, um, weekend, I mean, just, but I, I mean, I'm, I am blessed in that aspect. I mean, yeah. I would, I, I well, think it would be tragic to sit there and not have anything to do. Well, I want to congratulate you on that, and uh, I'm very proud of you. And, Thank and, you. and what you're doing now, and it's, it's really special, and, and uh, we got to get you and Ariel to come back on. But, yes. And, and I, we appreciate your sponsorship of the show. We, we reach a lot of folks, and I know some of y'all are going to get to see her. Some of y'all be doing business with her. I hope so. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we appreciate you coming on, and uh, now you get, to, you get to go to work. But uh, this is a Friday. And yes. You were doing, when I talked to you the other day, you were doing payroll, and I said, did you put me on the payroll? But I, 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 I have not done that yet, okay. but well, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jessica, it's so good seeing you. Well, thank you so much for having me. It meant everything for you, you to ask me, and I know for a moment I couldn't make it work because my plate is also yeah. full. But. First thing we did this morning was a big old big hug. Big, big old hug. Y'all have a great weekend. Do something good for someone else. That's Enjoy right. the outdoors. Take care of it, and God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.